Afghanistan Women's Football League has been formed since the fall of the Taliban, indicating an improvement of women's social status in the country. A friendly match was recently held between the Afghanistan's under-17 and under-21 women's football teams to help the younger team warm up for the upcoming under-17 Women's Football Cup in India. Despite underdeveloped skills, the players on the field, audience and officials were still inspirational, if only because they are from a country where few people watched or even knew of the domestic women's football league. Mm, not family, but uh, it was uh, my own choice or I, my own want that I want to play football. Afghanistan has made progress in football during the past eight years, with its strong men's national team recently winning the Central Asian football tournament, but women's football remains largely unknown. The expansion of the Afghanistan's women's football was achieved by Afghanistan people's insistence on increasing sports in the wake of the Taliban's fall. The kids see a war in Afghanistan. We have we lost a lot of things, even the rights of the women, even the, uh, the for our kids. They, do, they, they, they need some something in Afghanistan to to uh, help them to be happy in Afghanistan. But, but football, especially football, all the sports, I mean, totally all the sports, but football could bring smile backs on the, in the kids, the girls, boys, or any any uh, people in Afghanistan. Women's football matches have never been broadcast in Afghanistan and men are not allowed to watch the matches in stadiums. The league, which consists of more than 20 teams, has actually been active since the Afghanistan Football Association was established in 2005. Just over 35 minutes ago, but uh, unfortunately there has been a little bit of an incident at Hamden Park. The North Korean women's football team refused to come on to the pitch after the South Korean flag was mistakenly displayed beside the players' names on the big screen prior to... in Iran's professional women's league are to undergo mandatory gender tests to prove that they are fully female. The move by the Iranian Football Commission comes after several players were found to have been men with incomplete sex changes or suffered from sexual development disorders. Medical examiners will be turning up unannounced at training sessions and the clubs themselves are now obliged to carry out medical examinations before any new contracts are signed. Under Sharia law, sex changes are allowed in Iran, a departure from other laws that are strict about female sexuality and premarital sex.